My friends, there are certain trade names that have become part of our everyday lexicon because the products they represent are so ubiquitous. Xerox, Kleenex, Jell-O, words created as specific trade names have all become generic nouns. Now I bring this up because the music of Franz Joseph Haydn is so plentiful, so well written, so widely imitated, and so highly respected that almost since the moment of its creation, it has been synonymous with what we call the classical style. For example, when we hear a Haydn symphony, and oh my goodness, there are a lot of them to choose from, oh, roughly 104 of them, we might not know which Haydn symphony we're listening to. We might not even be absolutely sure the symphony is by Haydn. But we darn well know that this music is a brilliant, oh, a perfect example of the classical style and the so-called classical era symphony. Likewise, when we hear a Haydn string quartet, and there are a lot of them to choose from as well, 68 to be exact, we might not know which Haydn string quartet we're listening to, or even whether the quartet was actually written by Haydn. But again, again, we know that this music is a brilliant example of the classical era string quartet. The music of Haydn is the standard by which we measure other classical era composers. Haydn's symphonies and string quartets established aesthetic and compositional templates that became the ground line standards for those composers that followed, including such, oh, lightweight composers as Mozart and Beethoven. Papa Haydn was truly, hyperbole notwithstanding, the father of what we now have come to call the classical style. So what we now generically refer to as the classical style, or more specifically, the high Viennese classical style, could just as easily and frankly just as accurately be called the Franz Joseph Haydn style.